this India? No. Am I calling freaking India to get a mug that says America's number one? No. We're in Detroit, city of motors and black people. I directed the pilot of The Office for NBC, and after the success of that show, I really was looking for another workplace uh, comedy because I love the genre, I love the dynamics of the workplace, and I saw the independent feature called Outsourced, directed by John Jeffcoat, written by George Wing and John Jeffcoat, and I approached the creators of that film and said, would you like to extend the life of your film and, and adapt it as a series? And they said yes, and I took it to NBC, uh, and I enlisted Robert Borton, who had run the George Lopez show, and he wrote the draft that got us where we are right now. I pitched the show to NBC before Slumdog Millionaire was released, and I think that Slumdog Millionaire's success absolutely helped us, and it made it clear to a network that a story about Indian characters could be really, really you know, accessible to an American audience. Even though the characters are Indian, they are all very relatable. And they're relatable in part because we've all worked in offices where there's been a conniving co-worker or the shy co-worker or the, uh, you know, the, one, the romantic. I mean, this series will actually break down barriers, if anything. I mean, I think one of the nice things about it is it will involve you in a way that may surprise you. Oh, hey. I'm Manmeet. Manmeet. Yes, Manmeet. <laughs> Your name is Manmeet? Yes. <laughs> Wow, this must be hard to chat on the internet with a name like Man Meat. We're going to meet characters who uh, who do who are different in some ways. I mean, I mean, we do not, as a rule, have arranged marriages in our culture. Uh, but I think that once we get to know those characters, we will find, and I think it'll be a wonderful uh, discovery, that they want the same things we do. And uh, I mean, I've often said that. Uh, you know, everyone I know has had an experience talking to a call center worker on the phone, often an Indian, and this is the show that's going to put a face to that voice and, and, and hopefully humanize that voice.